Welcome to the MOOC course Cyber Smart Teacher. Here are some smart tips for social media. Fill the minimum information about cell in profile. Don't write all the details that is not required because that can be misused against you and when someone is trying to breach your password they can use this information these details to breach your password. Lock your profile so the unknown people unfriend who are not your friend they cannot see the details about you. Hide your friend list so that your friend will be safe and the unknown person the unfriend person they cannot see who are there in your friend list. In that way we will protect their privacy. Add the trusted contacts. Uh, with the help of these contacts uh, we can recover our account if it is unable to recover by email or OTPs. So this list can help us to recover our own account. Activate two factors are authentication. So whenever uh, we will try to log in from new account, new device, uh, the login alert will be come to us and we will approve. If it is coming from others, we can uh, log that device. Set login alerts whenever uh, uh, from new devices someone will try to log in we will receive the login alerts activate face detection facility of facebook to restrict the identity theft so if you activate this and so if someone up upload your photographs your photographs can can be identified on facebook and it will send us alert that someone has uploaded your photos on their wall so in that way if someone is trying to ident uh, you do identity theft of your personality you can come to know. Keep the timeline review and tagging restricted. Your timeline should not be open for everyone to share. You are the only one who should be able to share on your wall. In that way we will uh, save our timeline and also keep watch on tagging no one should tag you unless you uh, allow it so restricted the tagging facility keep the password changing that will help you to protect your account for the hackers don't do the things on social media that you will do in real world like follow all the normal things that we do like we do not make uh, friendship with the stranger we do not share the details with anyone about our family about our home about our kids so a simple way to just be real how you are be mindful in sharing personal and private updates not necessary everything should be shared on the on the social media avoid to log in uh, with public wi-fi public cafes or other devices because this can be risky and your account login id and password this uh, credentials can be hacked can be noticed can be saved by someone else that will definitely help them to hack your account to take your account in their control be sensible be uh, when you are uh, being a part of any social media group whether if that is focused and educational and constructive group then only be a part of such a groups. Avoid to use third party applications embedded in social media. This can be uh, harmful because these third party applications can access your information, your detail account details from the uh, social media account. When you click on those links on those applications like they show you how you can uh, look after 80 years, after 20 years they show you uh, or sometimes they uh, provide you some avatar that can be used so these are various uh, third party application that can be harmful because they uh, allow they are allowed to collect your information keep checking your friend list and their sharing sometimes we accept someone's friend list and uh, then later on they show their real uh, color and they try to do harmful activities with others and with the friends of ours so always try to keep watching who are your friends and what they are saying at present sometimes it's happened they also 
their account is hacked and hackers and the, the other person can using their account and your friend list can be in danger avoid to create multiple accounts if not necessary because if you have multiple account and uh, suppose other more accounts are created by someone else on your name your friends will consider that okay you do have two account this can be your third account so please keep only one account stay away from unnecessary engagement and argument sometime on social media something is shared maybe controversial or you want to debate so if not necessary do not uh, participate in those engagements and arguments uh, because trollers are there that can be harmful for your psychological health also share this thing with your students now there are many fake, fake account there are some of the symptoms some some of the attributes of such a uh, fake account these are not 100% correct these are just general symptoms uh, by checking those we can identify whether the account is fake or real the account has no or celebrities profile picture the person if the uh, he or she is appearing the profile picture do not appear again in the um, wall in the other sharing because someone has created the account by taking random pictures from here and there and they are applied that picture uh, to their profile and because uh, the person is different so uh, they may not get other pictures that why if you see their uh, profile uh, or wall you will see only one picture of a person and the rest of the uh, rest of the sharing only about the share post maybe they are sharing some videos or thoughts or good thoughts bad thoughts uh, something anything but that is all about shared post they do not share any personal things they prefer uh, once you are their friend they prefer to have the personal chat immediately uh, instead of rather uh, expressing their views or their friendship on the common wall they immediately come into the personal chatting and they they are very friendly they immediately share their contact their maybe mobile phone and uh, email ids anything that you ask even sometimes they share the photographs of course it is not of them or, or if it is there their uh, intention is to trap you so just keep away such a profiles and be safe in this cyber world thank you for watching complete video